Hello, my name is Daniel. And my name is Reese. And today we're evaluating my gait scan and slow motion recording of my walking on a treadmill. So, Reese, to start it off with, this began when I noticed that my shoes were wearing unevenly between my left and right, and it looks like we found a few differences between my left foot and my right foot, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We, uh, we've, we've had a look at you with shoes on and shoes off, and there's some slight variation. Mm. Which can also explain why my gait scan looks a little different to the wear marks in my shoes as well. I'll tell you what, though, I'm a little bit embarrassed about my left foot. I was expecting it to be a little bit better. So now let's turn this into self-application to all those runners who are running off to find their old shoes and look at the wear patterns in the bottom of them. What are some good sorts of wear patterns you would see and what are some things to look out for that could be problematic? Yeah, um, looking at your shoes, particularly if they're an older pair of shoes, um, it, it will, the, that wear pattern, depending on how your feet naturally like to move, um, will get worse. Um, so particularly on the outside of your shoes, if you're getting a lot of wear, um, that's probably just a, just a bit of a hint. It's not something you have to necessarily, it's not a red flag, but if it correlates with particular soreness that you get the next morning from a big run or walk um, in that area, then I do think that it, it is starting to link up signs that you, your body's under a bit of stress in those areas. Uh, would you also say that people need to look out for asymmetrical wear, like what I've managed to develop? Yes, yeah, correct. Because asymmetrical wear um, can, can indicate a few different things. Um, the obvious could be a strength deficit, um, but it could even be something a little bit further out of the foot. It, it could be a leg length difference. It could even be a hip strength difference or, or knee strength difference. And a lot of runners I've spoken to will say, yep, I've had a huge wear mark on the outer side of the heel of my shoe. Is that necessarily a bad thing if you've worn out the outer part of the heel? Not necessarily. Um, you'll actually find that a lot of runners or a lot of humans, when they walk and run, uh, do slightly lateral heel strike. Only slightly. But over time, when they do get old and they do compress, that wear will get worse. Um, sometimes just a new pair of runners are indicated. And we could see in my slow motion recording that I collapse a fair bit on my left foot. I've got a flat foot type anyway, so I'll be very prone to that. Are there any ways that runners could tell if they're collapsing in the way that their shoes are wearing out? Um, yeah, generally you, you could look at a few things. Well you've got some running mates to have a look at how you run but the shoes may be um, quite quite worn out in particular areas so you might have some hot spots um, it can be a little more difficult to see if your arch collapses a lot because a lot of the modern day shoes have firmer foam so they don't wear quite as as quickly on the inside um, so I think maybe even probably just a gait scan or a yeah, yeah, like a biomechanical assessment probably is a better indicator for how much you pronate rather than the shoe wear on the inside. And if somebody wanted to get a gait scan done and a foot gait analysis done, uh, what would they need to say upon booking in? Would they be able to do, go to anybody for it? Do they need to see a specialist? Um, yeah, so if you give Casey Allied Health a call and ask to speak to one of your health professionals here, either a podiatrist or a... Musculoskeletal therapist. Yep, that's you. And, um, and we can help you with that. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for coming in and commenting on my feet for the past little bit. And uh, we hope to hear more from you later. No worries, Daniel. Thanks for having me.